Oh, baby. Petrified fish. They just keep rocking it. They keep rocking it. This one. Yes, I did take my pills today, by the way. So, um, petrified fish. And they got the model number. And they got, oh, yes. See, I do this because otherwise I got to take it out of the box to look at the model number, which is, and if you're my age, you still can't read it. P-F-E-O-6. Good Lord. Hold on. Pinch the screen. P-F-E-O-6. <laughs> Maybe it's good having a camera like that. Um, oh, 14C28N blade steel. Did you answer all your questions? Now you want one, don't you? Now you're going to run out and get one. And what did I just do? What did I just do? How did I open it like that? That is actually a front flipper. Is that insane? That's a front flipper. Whew, that ain't much of a front flipper, is it? Now, get my dainty slender fingers in there and I can flick it with the cutaway just like that. And this is not a very big knife. I think this was kind of oriented towards the female market. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that because I like purple. But, but, and you know, Mother's Day, it's coming up in another year. <laughs> it happens every year. Christmas, Valentine's Day. Well, almost every holiday you have to buy a woman a gift because that's just the way it is. That's how the world works. So you can buy it in white. Because they're angelic. All women are angelic. Did you know that? Because I didn't. I just apparently petrified fish told me that. That's the first I ever knew of it. Nightingale. Like they're nurses. So they're pure? I was in the hospital a couple times during my life. I didn't see the purity and the love <laughs> so much. It's like quit hitting the button, asshole. <laughs> I'm I'm busy. Um, okay, so you can get it in white, and you could color it any color you want. Purple, yellow, pink, pink. And, you know, I think, isn't it October is Breast Cancer Month or something? So even guys will get that, okay? Because you get all the other crazy knives, too. You know, maybe Petrified Fish, <laughs> you know, has noticed the dessert warrior craze, okay, and so maybe they thought anything goes. It could be pink. It could be purple. It could be blue. Even the blade could be, right? So, hey, maybe they ought to be doing that. Uh, maybe they ought to take it one step further, like a blue blade or a white blade with a purple handle. I don't know. So this is the Nightingale 14C28 and front flipper. It's lightweight. It's small. And it's super cheap. It's not cheap. It's super inexpensive. So it's like $43. $43. How crazy is that? Which one's the P? That's a P, that's the E. Okay, right side up. Okay. And in this box, uh, it's not a whole lot, but you know, hey, it's $43. Remember that. Okay, so you get, I don't think I got any. Yes, I did. I got extra hardware. Isn't that something? Extra hardware microfiber cloth okay with their logo on it of course all their knives if you bought their knives they come like this right they come with the tag stuck around the pocket clip okay so you got that then you got this big oogle of a mess and it comes in this so now that i'm going to cut my finger off if i don't watch what i'm doing here um so you got petrified fish nightingale is that insane Yes, it is. There's uh, your backspace. There's a little white G10 thing stuck in here. But this is supposed to be wings. Did it take me like four minutes to get around to this is going to be wings? Okay, sorry about that. And four and a half minutes to get around to seeing if it's sharp. And it cut that much, didn't it? i got to get bigger pieces of paper in here. Okay, so yes. And on this side, it's black, isn't it? There you go. So, yeah, um, not 
scary, scary sharp, but not bad. I mean, it's kind of your typical factory sharpness. I always test them to see if something's going to just jump out there and get crazy. And every once in a while, that happens. Um, ceramic bearings, I believe. There's your lockup. This one's light. This one's pretty light. Um, and there it goes. Oh, just cut me. Cut. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, you might want to be a little, little careful because, uh, yeah, I mean, this could come down and get you. Uh, the blade's light though, so it's probably not going to be a problem uh, with that. Uh, blade to handle length is okay considering, you know, you got about a half an inch of back spacer jacked into where the blade ought to rest and so it's centered uh no blade play no lock rock it's solid it feels good you know can i tell you about the heat treat no because i don't know i mean can you tell me about any knife heat treat unless you actually stand there and watch it or you know have a rockwell machine and or whatever so yeah but um you know at $43. This is a good grab, use, whatever. And then, you know, Petrified Fish has got the Beluga and a million others. The 949 and the Beluga are probably my two favorites. The Flavorist just came out recently. Flavorist. Like by Flavor Flav, of course. That's who the designer was, by the way. And uh, so this one, I guess, Titanium Pocket Clip. 43 bucks. You know, if they had a zipper pouch in a mahogany case, I'd just say, this is a hell of a deal, right? But, ooh, they skipped on that. But I don't know. There's just something about Petrified. And I, I went in the drawer. Because got a buddy back in Arkansas. I was, you know. And he says, I got a buddy. His knife is junk. And I want to get him a gift. And what do you got? And let's keep it low price because he's not that good of a buddy. Um, but I pulled a bunch of petrified fish knives out and took pictures of them. So he picked one out. I sent it. And then I realized I've got like 26, 27 petrified fish knives. That's, start, that's probably going to start worrying some people. Okay. Um, oh, how much does it weigh and how long is it? Well, if you click on the link I give you below, you'll see. Uh, 3.15 at 80 millimeters at best. Um, seven and a quarter at uh, 18 and a half centimeters. So it's seven and a quarter. It's not just a seven inch knife. It's a little bit bigger than a seven and a three and a seven. Three, seven overall type thing. Um, so, okay. And, oh, let's get that. Calipeter out. 0.46, that's the same thickness as a paramilitary 2, Spyderco paramilitary 2. Uh, 12 millimeters. Mm, 3.4 millimeter blade stock, that's 0.13. I guess so, okay. Uh, I, would, I would have thought it was just a 3 millimeter blade stock. You know, drop point, uh, flat grind, bead blast, and light as a feather. Oh, yeah, we do have feathers. Okay. Uh, three ounces. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Um, oops. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Let's get to grams. There we go. 86, 87 grams. Okay. Okay. And I kept a vision on their site. You know, their website. I'll give you the link to their website and all that stuff. And if I can get anything out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Um, oh, yeah, I probably approached it from the wrong end, didn't I? Okay, yeah, because this is, okay. But I got this. Have you checked these out on their website? They do some kind of cool, crazy things every once in a while. And, uh, well, seems like all the time. Yeah. You want you a bottle opener? And this is a Petrified Fish uh, 490 of 1500. 2022, 1500 of these. Oh, my Corona. So, uh, of course, it's 
yeah. End of the summer. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, especially Florida, right? I mean, um, yeah, this is uh, this is good with the fish. I like that. So I uh, got that too, and it was like next to no money. But I just thought it was cool, and it'd make a great bottle opener and throw it out on the patio table. This is interesting, and you know, I'm thinking about getting one in pink just to give to my wife, just to put in her purse and stuff. She's got a little Spiderco ladybug that's lime green. I no, 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 no. I'm sorry. She's got a little red Spiderco ladybug from like a billion and a half years ago, and it's like butter knife and it's serrated. But re recently, I bought her Spiderco salt. Yeah, instead of the ladybug. Well, it is a ladybug, but it's a ladybug salt edition, and it's yellow, okay, with H1. Boy, it took me a while to get that one out of my mouth. And she loves that. She loves that. And, of course, that's sharp because it's brand new. But, good Lord, dude. Okay, ladybug, Spiderco, VG10. What is that? V no, that was H1 steel on hers, but the old one is was an old VG10, I think. Um they're like 50 no yeah all in it was like 60 dollars this is 43 and this is definitely bigger but this isn't the keychain one but you know i mean she could still have it and uh and i do she does have a pink griptilian i keep getting her knives she's gonna have to start her own like video thing and and do a video of mrs ltk knives so um let's we'll work on this it's not a bad drop, but it might be improved a bit. It's pretty good, uh, but it might be improved a bit when we put it back together. But titanium pocket clip, why? Why would you do that? Uh, I mean, it's great that they did, but I just thought, man, that's, that's kicking it, isn't it? Um, Standard hardware stuff going on here. Nothing special there, but I, I do like the design. I don't know. I'm warming up to it. it at first, it was a little kind of a little bizarre and kind of why and this and that, but now I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to it, actually. And uh, yeah, I might have to get her a pink one uh, because I don't know if I want to give up my purple. I'm putting it in the drawer with my other, you know, Tanto Beluga, regular Beluga, baby Beluga, 949, 949X, which is the small and the eight, whatever, 800 stuff and the whatever. It's, I got all kinds of model numbers in there and they're way cool in their own way. Ergos on this are good. And you can get all your fingers on there, and you got a little cutaway here, not really a go forward, but it's something that, you know, when you strop your knife and or sharpen it, it'll kind of keep things from banging up against the bolster or wherever the, the plunge grind goes down, you know, so that's okay. Um, you know, fin finish is surprisingly good on these. It's just been a hell of a ride with petrified fish because... Somebody threw them in my face, you know, like three years ago or something and said, what's up with this? And then I explored and this and that. And it's just been interesting watching this manufacturer, watching this brand evolve, you know, with collaborative designers and all that kind of stuff ever since. All right. See, I had a fresh towel, which still looks dirty. Why do my towels still look dirty when they're fresh? Maybe I actually ought to buy. <laughs> I've got like five of these and they will all see. If I was Hollywood, this I'd say this is intentional. This is designer. This costs you an extra hundred dollars just to have that faux worn look. God, when I was a kid in the 1950s, 60s, I was embarrassed to have holes in my pants. My mom would stick old big old patches on there. Uh, and now it's like half your jeans got to be ripped away and throw it away for them to be valuable. Go figure. I just never got into that, into that movement. Oh, should have kept all my old jeans. Okay, now, uh, number six, except I couldn't fit into them. Other than that, yes. Wish I would have got some beetle boots back in the day. I always wanted a pair. I don't know why. 
But I thought those guys are cool. And, ooh, we got number six here. So look at that little thing here. Check that out. This little, this little fool that's sticking up here to kind of give you, of course, uh, <clears throat> like I never said, right hand tip up only. I think that's become very obvious. And, okay, so it just slams into the side of the liner, which gives it support there and goes up into the bottom of this, of this Yahoo and gives it support there. Okay, okay. So, have we figured ourselves out yet? There's a lock side. Here's the liner. And uh, nothing could be finer than to have yourself a petrified fish liner and ceramic detent ball. You got you a squared off and it's skeletonized and ceramic bearings that we're throwing all around okay and woo well is that does that wipe off yeah it kind of does doesn't it 14c there we go here's the pivot and yeah it's it's a squared off deal of course you know you got your logo they're trying to center that out so it goes through here so it's you know that works and makes sense and they should be doing it on most knives actually so we're good there okay let's see if we've got what are we doing here <laughs> i thought i was gonna put my stop in okay what was i doing wow uh, what was the point what's the difference in one side and the other like nothing shouldn't be so i don't get that and where did I just throw my my go go juice? I just found this Ziploc bag. I got like six different types of lube in it, in different containers, and I'm I, I ought to get that out. Well, whenever I run out of this, which will be almost never. In fact, I think I got two more bottles of this. So I think about 2027, I'll be out of my KPL tour. <laughs> I'll start using the other stuff. Okay, give me this. Yeah, I mean, it takes for, I mean, I, and I, you know, how many knives do I take apart and put back together? More than most people, I reckon. And that thing lasts forever. Um, I'm sitting here contemplating this. Actually, uh, I used to do this, but along the detent track, you know, and now I don't. Now I just throw shit down. Okay, come here. Come on. I don't know why I had it in like that to begin with. Okay. <sighs> Can we please put this back together? And it shouldn't be this difficult. And it's not really. Uh, okay. Back it up until we don't get cross-threaded. Okay. Let's do that. Let's put the dog back in. This dog needs to go to the dog pound. Okay. There you go. Are you on, uh, uh, let me get my little number six over here. And you know what? I'm going to have to start getting some more number six bits. I've got a bag that got reground, but when Steve ground, you know, they'll get boogered up on the very end. So he goes, just send them to me. I'll take, I'll take them to my grinder and then just grind the boogered up part off and you'll still have. But, you know, as you're, coming down you're making it bigger right so it's not fitting it's more like a a six plus and then it's more than that so it's only good for so much grind to grind a haul like okay hold on we, we're still a number six here come on and these are magnetic yeah that fits that's tight though um so yeah i need to start over and get maybe some weir uh brand uh, you know six number sixes and then steve was going hey they're going into the plus size on a lot of these manufacturer stuff so your six may get a little sloppy in there if it's a standard six so you might want to be aware of that too 
and I think I just hossed this down. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, come on. Now to stick it. No, it's okay. It's still centered. Now I don't have so much lube on my thumb that I can't flip it. Wow, that's much better drop, though. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty fair drop right there. So you want to go fishing? Fishing with the Nightingale. The PFE06 Nightingale. My printing is beautiful, isn't it? Um, purple. I like it. I like that. And speaking of going fishing, don't forget to bring your Corona with you in the boat. And your little opener. Take care of my friends. Yes, we do. We love them knives and we love them fish, them petrified fish. So you guys, stay sharp.